Hello. Hope everybody's having a good day so far. Uh, I'm excited again. And I hopefully will be a little bit more energy this time. But uh, more Pokemon Legends Arceus. I'm so excited for this game. Like, you guys have no idea. Like, I was hyped last time. And then we played. But I'm still hyped. That's the thing. Give me a second. Foster Jack and Hydrate, thank you. How's it going, Rose? Pro tip, don't black out when facing a noble Pokemon. I mean, I was hoping not to black out at all. We'll have to see. Let's go and wait, what am I what, what are my things? I don't remember what I'm supposed to be doing. Oh okay, at the training grounds. Anyways, Rose, I saw your drugs earlier. I wanted to say they're actually pretty good. Are you open to uh, critiques, though, or are you rather not? Because no worries if not. I'm glad she at least asks to train. I know you're busy. Listen, I've had epiphany. And that is... You see, I've got a partner of my own. We may not get along perfectly, but we got to work together to complete the Pokedex. Your partner? Yes, it is my partner, Pikachu. When we were attacked by those shanks, I got too scared to think straight, and I couldn't handle battling as a team. Ever since then, my partner has refused to listen to anything I tell him. And if I'm being honest, I'm not sure, even sure how to order him, how to guide him in battle. When I saw how you and your Pokemon work together, I realize we need to do more too. I don't really enjoy criticism, no worries. Feedback is okay, but not criticism. Okay. I'm trying to think if, if what, I, what I have to say is f feedback or criticism. I don't know how to word it, I, I apologize. When I saw how you and your Pokemon work together, I realized we need to do more too. So please have a battle with me. I want to learn how to fight effectively. Give me a second. Oof. Sorry, I don't mean to cause you any anxiety if you have anxiety about that kind of thing, by the way. You and your Pokemon seem to be completely in step with one another. Wow. Ooh, thank you for battling with us. I could be wrong, but for a moment, I feel like Pikachu finally understood one another. Let's keep working at it, okay, Pikachu? Guess I was wrong then. Oh, I feel bad. But I'll strive to work more as a team with my partner the way I do. The way, the way you do. I don't think a Pikachu likes her? No, sadly. Assuming Pikachu and I can bridge some gaps. 
By the way, the professor said Pokemon have things called types, which are going to make a big difference in how battles go. Pikachu seems to be an electric type, for example. So you're the one, the new recruits everyone's talking about. Is she supposed to be related to Mars? From Team Galactic? Where did the offensive one stop at ground type? No, it's just, it's just cutting off. The name's Izu, Captain of the Security Corps. Uh, I see you got some fight in you. Figure I'd stop by and give what advice I could. Captain Sizu is a master of ancient martial arts. One that specializes in Pokemon battles. Now listen, if your Pokemon's truly mastered its move, you can actually use them in different styles. On one hand, you can choose to deliver a move in a strong style. Move will deal more damage, but afterward it'll take longer for you or your Pokemon to act. On the other hand, you can choose to unleash a move in an agile style. Such a move will have less power behind it, but your Pokemon can act more quickly afterwards. Truly favorable conditions, it might even get out two moves before the opponent can act. Strong moves, agile moves, and of course regular moves. Choose which is right for the given situation. And direct your Pokemon with a little nudge. One more thing, if you want to teach your Pokemon some powerful moves, just let me know. Ooh. Jesus' teaching should serve you well when you're up against tough Pokemon. Now, suppose it's time we met, met Mai. Mention at the Wallflower that I could he help, use your help with Mai's request. I'm to meet her down past the foot of Aspiration Hill. Should come as well once you've ready them, your Pokemon team. Oh, once you've once you've ready your Pokemon team, and perhaps. Okay. want new moves. Ooh. Poker man's the Pikachu's. Hello Gumbo, how's it going? Moves you can learn are based on your current star rank. Oh okay, that's good to know. I have to confirm. That's neat. Really like that. Apparently, I was playing as the protagonist from Demo Planet in this game. Interesting. I don't know how that would work. Hello, TK. How's it going? Nope. That's a... No requests? That's good to hear. How's your day? Like, what have you done today?
Damn it, there's nothing up here. School? Ah. Quick attack, but it's not quick attack, it's just tackle. Then wouldn't that just be tackle? Fuck, that actually scared me. Did I surprise you? I bet I did. I was trying to anyway. There's a secret technique to catching Pokemon. Secret backstrike technique. Interesting. I can use you to catch or giving you an advantage once a battle starts. Oh. Create the Pokedex, you might end up meeting every last Pokemon here in Hisui. You should know that I'm already looking forward to the day you accomplish that. Nice. Oh. The boy that fell from the server coil fell from the sky. Listen to your moment, I need to create cake lure recipe. Ooh. Call it mushroom cake. Not sure how I feel about that. Quick attack is just tackle, but it increases your speed now. Oh. I poured 20 years of mushroom foraging know how to coming up with this recipe. And I know it's just a winner. Problem is, folks around here just aren't catching it to my amazing potential. They need to talk to the village. If people see you making, making my mushroom cakes famous as you are, I'm sure they want to give it a go too. I'll teach you the recipe. All you have to do is re in return to spread the good word by using it. Oh, and you'll need to get the key ingredient for the recipe yourself. Scrounge not from the fellows, or forges of the fellows, as the old thing goes. Once spring, your mushrooms all you need. Nice. I got cake. Cake is an upgraded form of food to the Pokemon it keeps distract longer. Oh, okay. Really good. Um, a lot of a lot of the stuff, Rose. I want to figure out myself eventually. If I do seem confused about something, uh, feel free to pipe up then. Marvelous rich tone. How's it produced? I much know. Didn't see there. Survey core. Wonderful. Just the person I need. Want to learn more about Cricketot? Must. Let's be curious about them as well, right? I mean, how do they make those sounds of theirs? It's a musical mystery like no other. If you're dead, if you can complete Cricket Tut's page in your poker ducks and show it to me. So I, er, so, I, so we, if we can uncover the truth. Okay, okay. No worries, Rose. I'm just, just giving you a heads up. Thanks. Rolling around at the sp speed of leak. <laughs> without being caught. Have I, I haven't caught a Togepi. The song is copyrighted, so it, it's not copywritten. It's a game song. Crush 40 hasn't copyrighted their songs because it's owned by Sega. There's only like two or three Crush 40 songs that are actually uh, I have to evolve three of them.
Oh. I mean, the song is stolen by someone making it inherently copyrighted. Yes and no. According according to Twitch, like video game songs are okay. I love I love the little noises they make with we're just bopping around. Nice. Strong style to KO a level 2 Pokemon. To be honest, I actually forgot to look at its move. some more like combat Pokemon like Lucario or something I, I did learn that my favorite Pokemon is not in this game sadly Enjoying just farting about. Spoken research know about the gender of a quadruple fire Pokemon, but not the gender of God. I mean, isn't wouldn't God be a gender? This is fun little vibrant music. The hell? Oh, uh, just saw that was level forty. What's your fav favorite Pokemon that isn't in this game? Metagross. Ooh, cherry berries. I'm glad I can just run around in this game and just enjoy myself. Until Alpha Pokemon comes out of nowhere, yeah. Well, just being able to run and enjoy myself without being too constrained by the objectives right now, which is kind of nice. Like, 
Like, just being able to run through this open green, like... I just, oh, wow, I never actually looked at the clouds. I kind of like, kind of like how they look like paint splatters. Oh, there's a, a weasel. the start of the game is from Kalos or girl or female interesting I love how you can actually just like strafe in this game when you're holding oh I guess I gotta kick a Badoof's ass That's an Eevee. Fuck, I used the wrong thing. That's a Badoof that I thought was an Eevee. Should have your Pokemon smash open sparkling rocks. Okay. The hardest part of catching the EV is not getting spotted. The problem is that they hide, they hide in the grass and don't. I usually they usually spot me before I spot them. Okay, but that's super cute. There's just a Shinx there, just chilling. That's super cute. That's why I turn off autosave and hard save if I plan to catch an Eevee. Ah. Uh. Oh, uh, Munchlax. There are many strong Pokemon that make their home on the other side of this bridge. Tell your first, oh, you have to rank, you should be fine, go on then. Don't let your guard down now, retreat to safety if you find yourself in trouble. Over here. My, this is final. A new face in the village. Not that it matters to me if you're new, you're, if you're here, I assume you're prepared to be of help. I'm one of the wardens of the Diamond Clan. You call, may call me Mai. Suppose if you're, if you might not even know what a warden is, if you're new to Sisui. But such talk can wait. Right now, I'd rather we get straight to the point. You have a problem that I need help solving. So the more important question is this: Do you feel confident that you can lead your Pokemon in battle? I do. That's good to hear. 
That security core of yours certainly wasn't up to the task. This here is my partner, Munchlax. We were raised together like siblings. He battles up my side by choice, without needing any silly little balls like you use. Watch and learn. Oh, I thought he was just going to pass out right there. Oh, it's actually using, like, the... Like the commander battles from uh, Team Galaxy. Oh. And of course, avoided. What? It, it didn't fall asleep? Oh, this is bullshit. Playing as weak to Rocky, yeah, I know. Two just to move. Oh. Uh. Galaxy buffoons, if you could defeat my partner. Well fought, Munchlax. I'll take care of the Pokemon that battled for us. Thank you. I think flying is weak to Electric Rock and Steel. No, Electric Rock and Ice. I'll let you have these. People make all kinds of things with their crafting, don't you? You should be able to uh, be prove to be useful materials. Vivid jokes. Nice. You and your Pokemon fought well together. You practically acted as one with them. Rather than like this legendary of hero of old. The one we tell the stories to, of to our children. I think you're indeed the one for the job. See, I, needed, I need someone to help to deal with the alpha Pokemon causing trouble upon deer track heights. It's a large fearsome foe, like any alpha, but you'll come, won't you? To deer track heights? Your arc is beat me. That thing you have is showing you where to go. You've got to go, isn't it? My, my, that is some curious sort of map. Is that one of those galaxy team inventions I keep hearing about? So it does seem to show us the way to deer track heights up ahead of us. Leave this in your hands. You'll do great out there. I know it. It seems you're quite the asset to the Survey Corps, new one. Though... Before we continue, I must ask, did you already know about the Almighty Sinnoh? Almighty what now? I suppose that's to be expected. Allow me to sketch the basics. Almighty, Almighty Sinnoh steers all time. It's said to have created the very universe using its power over time's flow. And this land of Hisui was born in the process. 
It's said by the grace of the almighty Sinnoh that Pokemon can live and thrive here. We of the Diamond Clan are descendants of a people who crossed the sea and settled here in the Hisui region to venerate almighty Sinnoh. However, it stole away from the world a long time ago. Or, stole away from the world long ago, hiding itself from our sight. Almighty Sinnoh has only rarely been seen by any human. If the old tales were to be trusted. But there's still Pokemon here today in Hisui with a connection to Almighty Sinnoh. And it is the duty of wardens like myself to attend to their needs. The Pokemon that grazes, that graces Deer Trek Heights is one of those honored few. It is directly descended from a Pokemon that was blessed with the Almighty Sinnoh's protection. Follow me and you may understand. Okay then. Oh, that's a Krikatot. Usually sparkly rock here. Stardust. Oh. Oh, fucking Zubat. Have you played BDSP? I have not, no. I love how they waddle. I wanted to try it out, but it was either that or this, and I really wanted to play this. I'm glad the music is, is at least not like Breath of the Wild. Like, it has its own kind of fla uh, flavor to it. What's the difference between this game and every other Pokemon game? Well, it has a more focus on catching than battling from what I've seen. What the hell are these? Is this a plant? Bugwort. Oh, I see. Okay. With other things like stealth, free roaming. Catch more like catch. Yeah, I know. There's a tree over there shaking weirdly.
Can you make your own Pokeballs? Yes, you can. About to make a ga uh, gamer opinion, Charizard Y is better than Charizard X. Which one is Y? Is that the black and blue one? Nice catch, thanks. Also, how's it going, Blue Sky? I haven't seen it in a while. Yeah, you know what? Everl always use teleport if he spots you. It's one that runs away. Yeah, I kind of figured. I was just trying to, like... Make sure that, like, I could actually, no, catch it. Black Temple Stone. Oh, I can make the heavy balls. Oop, more apricorns. <laughs> I really enjoy this. Thing at the bottom of a cliff, use Pokemon. Yeah, I've been busy for a while? Ah, that's understandable. Hopefully the you kinda get a break. Is that ore? That ore was bouncing up and down. The path is blocked, would you like to use the HM cut? <laughs> I can see Rock Smash being a thing in this game, though. So even your professor decided to join us. Thank goodness I got here in time. As a Pokemon researcher, I could hardly miss out on a chance to observe an alpha now, could I? I suppose that is your business. Fine, as long as you stay out of our way. This is Deer Track Heights. This is where I've come to pay tribute to a special Pokemon. A Pokemon descended from one of those ancient one of those ancients blessed by the Almighty Sinnoh. What the hell was that noise? That's not it. So it's only a troublemaker here to disturb the peace with its racket. What a noise. That is what you're here for, final, to drive the interloper from its place. I'll ensure your Pokemon are ready for the battle. Bless. Upon my word, what a large specimen. Little wonder alpha Pokemon are feared across the land if they're oversized as this one. Exactly, they're not only big though, they are strong and, and they may no moves that other of their kind do not. They're not to be trifled with, let me tell you. Nevertheless... I believe you are stronger than this 
that is alpha. So go show it show it that beyond made any mistaking. Be careful final size is a potent weapon in and of itself. No doubt this alpha is as powerful as a hardy foe. Big bug. <laughs> If you must face it, make sure your Pokemon have some strong moves at their disposal. This high school red, alpha. It may know moves that are rare for their species. Interesting. They're difficult to catch. What a bastard I'm here to take you on. I guess you can't. Whoop! <laughs> Press the Y button. Okay. I already know this one. Ooh! How's the new Pokemon game, Fire 64? I think it's going really well. Also, how's it going, Mine Hut? You can tell an alpha by its size, yeah. It did. Oh, it sucks that, like, down Pokemon don't get uh, XP. I would definitely recommend this game, though. It's it is, uh, the tutorial has been a little bit long, but it's I think it's going really well. Like it's not like, it doesn't treat you like you're stupid, but it doesn't also like, like, prove too much of a challenge. Seeing someone invest in off like that, it truly reminds me of the legendary hero of old. I like her boots. <laughs> Uh, we best make sure your Pokemon are taken care of after facing, uh, facing such a foe. What in the world? It's the Great Weird Ear. Boy, what an ugly fucking Pokemon. He looks upon you with kindness, Final. I'd say the great weird deer has taken a liking to you. That is fortunate. He's an esteemed Pokemon that can dash across the expenses of Hisui while bearing a human on his back. A human he deems worthy, at least. He's a blessing to us all. Remarkable, truly outstanding stuff. A Pokemon... Letting someone ride on it. Why, it's just like the ride Pokemon of Alola. He's been to Alola? Professor Lavinson, final. Captain Silene sent me. She said that once final carried out this request, we were able to set up a base camp. How about that? I know this was a joint decision by Adamin. Adamant and the commander, but still, it is truly fine for us to set up more base camps like this. The Hisui region is a land created by Almighty Sinnoh for the sake of its Pokemon. As long as your goal is to coexist and thrive together with Pokemon, then I imagine you should be, allow be allowed to use this land as well. Den Pokemon never gained XP as far as I know. Do you know how Stantler is hunted for its horn's mystical powers? I do not know that. The Great Weirdo has taken a liking to final as well. This is a good sign. You have my thanks for what you did today. Our clan leader will hear of how you aided us. I'll come to show my appreciation with a proper reward as soon as I can. Give me those boots! I want that boot! 
in green. If we want to a coexist and thrive with Pokemon, we'll need to stop fearing them and start getting to know them better. That starts with completing the Pokedex. I'm glad the Pokedex is actually a little bit more of a focus in this game. Anyway, we should be able to have to have that base camp set up once the construction core arrives. Here we have it, our new base camp upon Deer Track Heights. I'll call it the Heights Camp. From now on, when you set out from the village, you can ask to be escorted to this base camp to start your excursions directly from here. Nice. Is this still the Obsidian Fieldlands? Having another base camp to, st to start from will be a great help on our surveys. Nice work today, everyone. Let's say we all head back to the Wallflower. Money. Anyways, for everybody just joining us, how is how is everybody? Benny, old chum, the usual potato mochi, please, and make it three f uh, for three today as well. Pause check, thank you. So I actually found out the reason why my, my right cup headset is, isn't malfunctioning. Uh, it turns out one of my cords is a little bit loose. So I just gotta keep it, like, fiddling with the cord to make sure it's actually in the right position. Have you heard the great news? The frenzied cleaver from the rumors. It had out some mauling some of our galaxy folks who went out to investigate this morning. The medical corps had a hard time getting all the injured back on their feet. Oh no. This is the cleaver that was reportedly struck by powerful lightning, yes? I did hear he's been behaving more, more, more radically since then. Still, a further investigation is ordered. The survey corps will, of course, step up to the task. A certain amount of danger is inevitable when researching unfamiliar Pokemon, but I'm sure Final here can handle things just fine. Are you certain I've heard Cleaver so mighty even Alpha Pokemon don't compare to him? No, no, you forget the strengths of Pokemon are key items of information that we of the Survey Corps are duty-bound to research. And since this perilous work of, our, of ours calls for a clear head and fighting fits physique, I had to believe a good night's sleep is in order at, after this fine meal. I'm also going to give a quick high grade. Oh. Next day. Good morning, final. You should hurry to the commander's office before he decides to use you for sumo practice. Okay, Rose, I have a question for you. How can Diago fly? You should not be able to fly. It's it's a, it's the leader of time. It, it can time itself to be in the air. There you are. Let's hurry to headquarters. So, Rose, question for you. Can you... Uh, will more stars provide more options for, like, hair and clothes? Look, who's being punctual. Finally realized you're wasting Almighty Sinnoh's precious time by bowing to a sham? There you go again, insinua insisting on your false image of the fi Almighty Sinnoh as a ruler of time. My people follow the true Almighty Sinnoh, the font of all creation and ruler of space. Oh, is this... Oh, it's a clan wor worshipping... Okay, I, I see how it is. You gonna look? Alright, take care, my not. I hope you... Uh, hope you have a good one. I never check the hair salon? Okie doke. You should you should could have all the space there is and still not know what to do with it. 
Excuse me, are you really suggesting that you make better use of your time than we make of vast Isui space? Better than some, it's a miracle you showed up on time, almighty oh, leader of the Pearl Clan. I worried you'd get lost in the pointlessly vast space you're so fond of and never show up. Get lost in almighty Sinnoh's great gift to the Pearl Clan? And our world's very basis? The Pearl uh, you wish. Okay, but I like these two. I wish I didn't let myself get dragged into arguing with you. Almighty Sinnoh, forgive me. What a waste of time. I'm off to, com I'm off to com uh, Commander Commodore's office. I believe it was you who started this. You can feel the tension when those two show up. What I did check their salon, but only once at the start of the game. Okay, okay. You haven't met them, have you? The woman with the reverence for space is Irida, leader of the Pearl Clan. The man who is going on about time, Adamin, leads the Diamond Clan. Diamond Clan and the Pearl Clan grudgingly coexist at the moment. I really think things used to be less peaceful. But the boss, I mean the commander is waiting. We should save this conversation for after you report to him. Everyone knows that Almighty Snow is banished for its violence and watches us from the distortion realm. Honestly, that's my favorite of the three. Some requests which which post on the blackboard. Which one will you check? Seems both of them, but if keep sneaking to the village and causing trouble, talk to Tsumigi, uh, Smugi from the security corps and see if you can help set things in order. Playing with Drifloon. Seems several people have spotted a Drifloon playing with one of the village children. Mickey from the uh, security corps can tell you more. Oh, that's unfortunate because apparently Drifling take kids and fly away with them. Clarissa from the Security Corps has a request for us. Something to do with Zubat, I believe. Talk to the good lady and investigate as necessary, please. There are no other requests. Oh hell yeah, you can roll inside. I'm gonna roll upstairs because I can. Oh Splendid, you came along at a good time. I'm looking for a pickling stone. Would you mind lending me a hand? It needs to be the right size to fit atop one of my pickle pots and be heavy enough to put a nice firm pressure on the pickles while they're fermenting. But I suppose it'd be hard for me to lift such a heavy thing from the pot. The best thing would be for the stone to lift itself up, actually. That's a rather good idea. There's a Pokemon called Geodude that lives on Deer Track Heights. It'd be perfect for the job. Could you catch one and bring it back for me? I'll, he I'll head home and wait for you there. Oh, okay then. Fortunately, you can't release your Pokemon indoors. Yeah, but I can roll. That's the important thing. What do you intend to do about the Cleavor, Commander Kamado? He may be descended from a warrior of the Almighty Sinnoh, but look at the mess he's causing. We can't sit back and let him rage on. You do get right to the point, Adamin. Time wasted is lost. Well, tell me, what would you have us do? Cleavor is a precious lord of the Pearl Clan. Is he not? That's the point. My clan can't intervene directly where a lord of the Pearl's clan, Pearl Clan is concerned. If my people were to do something, our two clans might end up back at each other's throats. Just like we used to be. But even folk of the Galaxy team have got some wounded, haven't they? Someone's got to do something here. Who then? Would the Diamond Clan have the Pearl Clan bring down one of its own honored nobles? I don't believe I said that. Though it may be. You might as well have said it, you fool. Look, we don't even know what drove Lord Cleaver into such a violent frenzy. I'd like to know that myself. This is as first as far as my clan knows, too. I see you arrived. 
This is final, the newest member of the Survey Corps. Judah is a ground type Pokemon that flies. Uh, doesn't it? Like, it doesn't it? We used to be just like they saved it for like animation, but in reality, they just kind of walk around with their arms or something like that. I fear from my you've, ent you've earned Weirdish's favor. Good to finally meet you, stranger from the Rift. I'm admin, leader of the Diamond Clan, if you want to be formal. That's a mouthful, just call me Adamin. Hold on a second. Is it supposed to be like adamant and irida? Would that be iridescent? Adamant and iridescent? Like, I thought those were, like, the original name. No. The Adamant Orb and the uh, Iridescent Orb. No, it's Lustrous Orb. What the fuck? Arceus hatched from an egg. Who or what birth Arceus? No. Uh, Arceus created the first egg. If you came from beyond the space-time rift, could you be fr from sp the space where Almighty Sin was set to reside? I'm Irida, leader of the Pearl Clan. Caution and foresight on my watchwords. Which is why I have trouble believing such a tale. Could you really have passed through that rift? I have a proposition. Why not send this one to study Cleaver before deciding what must be done? You send a stranger who supposedly fell from the rift to study Cleaver? It's a newcomer with no experience. This is a leader with almost no experience. Kiss for the region of Sinnoh got his name. No! <laughs> Being a good leader isn't a matter of time, it's a matter of embracing Sui's vastness without fear. Well then, there you have it. If, if, how you, if how new you are doesn't matter, then let's give this kid his chance. I'm sold, Commander, let's try this your way. This should be fun, I get to see how good you galaxy folk really are. With all your weird ways, putting Pokemon in strange balls and whatnot, what have you. That whole practice bothers me. Almighty Sinnoh made Hisui vast so Pokemon could live freely uh, throughout. We're meant to stand alongside Pokemon, not count ourselves above them. We do not use our Pokeballs to from a desire to control our Pokemon, only so that we can live together. Allow us to show you, show you what we can do. This is this is your mission now, final. I order I order you to study Cleavor and help us find the truth of the situation. Uh, I accept. Who do you think the villain of the story will be? I can't tell right now. I'm honestly kind of hoping it's like a twist with the professor. Remember that you are a stranger who appeared one day out of the very sky above us. People are naturally suspicious of your presence here. If you wish to be fully accepted and trusted, you must work hard. Consider your work yourself to the very bone. Frenzy of the Lord of the Woods. That's a mouthful. Well, it's settled. There's no time like the present. Lord of the Woods, Cleaver, is descended from a Pokemon that was blessed with Almighty Sinnoh's own power. Another Pokemon you've encountered can compare to his strength. Be warned. Listen to me. The Galaxy's expedition team has come to the Hisui region as a group of outsiders. Some might even call us interlopers. Plot twist, the villain is you? That would actually be kind of interesting as well. We mustn't do anything to threaten their relations with the Diamond and Pearl clans, I understand. That's fucking creepy. Join me downstairs, final, we'll cover the details of this new mission. Hold on, I didn't get a good run that time. And, uh, who uh, uh, damn it. Whoa. Where's the Platinum Clan? I really hope there's a Platinum Clan. Now good, you're already here. <sighs> Professor Laventon, the briefing if you please. 
Yes, let's get right to it. So final law. I understand you've been requested to find out the cause of Cleaver's frenzied state. But as you're aware by now, Cleaver is a mighty thing. Nigh invincible even. The security corps tried throwing Pokeballs at Cleaver when they were attacked, but I'm afraid they didn't even come close to catching him. It seems he's a far trickier opponent than even those aggressive species of Pokemon that cannot be caught outside of battle once they're riled. I'd like to be perfectly clear on this point. This mission will put you in extreme danger. Do you believe you can handle it? No. <laughs> Very well then, let's go over particulars. Diamond Pearl clans revere their nobles because they believe these Pokemon serve their almighty Sinnoh. They have offerings to express their gratitude to these Pokemon and locations they call the noble seats. Perhaps a good start... Oh, I, if I, if I, what sort of offerings do they normally leave for this cleaver? Finally, we need to speak with you. Listen, that rift in space-time seems like it connects to the, this world to a whole other world. That world might be where the almighty Sinnoh itself resides. The true almighty Sinnoh, that is. The one that rules over time. So if you fell through the space-time rift, that might mean you traveled through time by almighty Sinnoh's own power. Think of it, Mr. Midget is swimming with the divine might. I've got a favor to ask of you, oh amazing time traveler. Don't just study Cleavor, while his frenzy. As you certainly caught us at a good time, Admin. We're just discussing our steps with uh, regard to this whole Cleaver situation. Oh. Pro tip, don't die while fighting nobles. You've already said that one, I think. You must be the Galaxy Scholar I've heard about. It's good to meet you, Mr. Professor. Share some of that knowledge with me sometime. And let me elaborate a little. Sprawl Clan types have a lot of respect for Cleaver. You've heard his title, Lord of the Woods. I'm sure they'd rather get this under control too, but it's hard for them to come out right out and ask those of the uh, Galaxy team of all people for help. The truth is, we in the Diamond Clan have a similar problem on our hands. Our Pokemon dear to us, off in the mountains, has flown into the same type of frenzy as Cleavor. Now this is particularly the bad blood with, between us and the Pearl Clan, but still. We've all got to uh, share Hisui, and that means we ought to tackle our problems all together. But there aren't many po uh, capable, of Pokemon to st er, capable of standing up to such powerful Pokemon. You're the best hope we've got. You'll find Cleaver and Grant at Grand Cherry Arena. That's the very heart of Heartwood. His warden is a boy named Leon. Leon is a brilliant child, but also a bit, well, sometimes brilliant it's can be blinding, you know? Oh, don't tell me he's one of those spoiled little shits. I said black, don't black out, don't, d not, don't die. Oh, okay. I'll tell you all about his beloved cleaver, whether you wish him to or not. <laughs> Anyways, I'm sure you're up to the challenge, so we'll be counting on you. See you later. Certainly left quickly once he finished talking. I suppose he really values his time. Adamant and Mai weren't wrong, you know, if you were to study and perhaps even call Cleaver, you'd best, be start to, you'd best start by visiting his abode. Our new heights camp should be a, would be a handy place for setting out towards Grand Tree Arena. And you should stop by the pastures too, you want to choose the best Pokemon to bring. Finding yourself unable to pick up the materials you come across, Satchel always see me pull. If it sounds like you, it would be wise to lend me your ear for a moment to hear what I have to say. You can carry on even more in that Satchel of yours if you learn the trick to packing things in. I can teach you if you like it, what do you say? Sure. Teaching fees at night, 100. Yep. Lend me your ear a moment. You've made space to keep one more, one more kind of item in your satchel. Nice. That's all there too is. You see how much more you can fit by packing things rightly. If you want to be carrying even more things, there's more I can teach you. What do you say? Sure. Space is always good. Or 
Cool. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna do five of them. There's times when a single extra item can mean the difference between life or death in you. Cool, I had an entire extra row. It probably takes a total of four million to max out the store. Four million to max out storage. Check Mystery Glyphs last stream, I clicked off last time. Yes, I did. I got some special clothes. Oh, you had a quest for me. You there, you seem like someone who enjoys a bit of crafting. You can help me out with something. I'd be very, very grateful as you try to craft something with using a special recipe that I came up with. Sure. So any further to do, here's the recipe. Pokashi dolls. Three logs of wood. It's supposed to be for what I wanted for Pokeshi dolls. I invented the BC. Special items that we can make in this village. I'd love to craft one and show it to me. Look forward to seeing what you come up with. How the hell am I supposed to get wood? Alright, if a Pokemon starts eyeing me, I'll fling an Orenberry, then run all that's distracted. If I just stick to the plan, I'll be fine. Oh, Servic Corp boy, I was just headed out to the field to go gather tumble stones, but I haven't got as many Orenberries as I'd like. Are you familiar with Orenberries? They restore some HP to Pokemon to eat them, as Pokemon tend to be very interested in them. Throwing Orenberries is a great way to distract and avoid wild Pokemon, they're indispensable. Could I try to gather five Orenberries? You just take mine. Grateful except, gosh, I can't believe you just went to the trouble of finding these for me. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> I have no idea where to get logs of wood and guides weren't really helpful. Well, I mean, the game just just came out, so I don't, I don't think there's going to be anything just yet. I just wonder if someone fell out of the sky. Only well, kind of go to waste. Wish me some luck with those tumble stones. Ooh, some revives. Uh, oh. One, two, three, four. I'm missing five. Good Raven, I never expected you to bring one so quickly. I'm afraid I'm looking for a bigger one. One that's at least around 2A would be great. Oh, okay, I didn't know that.
Imagine not wearing three at once normally. <laughs> We're watching through it three at once. Also, thank you for the hydrate, General. Also, General, how's it going? It's going good. How are you? I'm doing all right. And I made a very unnerving call today. So hopefully it works out in the end. I had to book an appointment. How are things, my good friend? I certainly hope you're putting that secret uh, backstrike technique I taught you to go to use. It was good. Either way, I have some super potions here just for you. Oh, think out nothing of it. Having the Survey Corps out and about studying Pokemon is great for business, you know. Supporting you now is actually an investment in my own fortunes. And now I must depart. There are ruins that are just calling to me. Why is a merchant going to a ruins? Uh, let's go to the Heights Camp. Calls, yeah, I know. But, I mean, at least I got it done, so. Oh, it's bobbing up and down again. Oh, there's the Geodude. It's a pickle Geodude. I'm pickle Geodude! Streamed Legend for me? Oh no, give me a second here. Yeah, I'm dropping frames, I'm sorry. Give me a sec to reduce the load. Anyways, I'm a DC for now to watch Skyrim. Enjoy the game. Alright, take care, Rose. Let, let Pipe know I said hello. Also, now I have a cat on me. Stream better for right now. Yeah, yeah I'll, let you, I'll let you know, guys, know when it's time to refresh. It gets really laggy, like, right at, like, quarter after seven my time, and I don't know why. Yay, caught a Geo, dude. Peppa plant. Thank you for the hydrate again. But now it's more difficult because I have a catch on me. Hello, catch. He likes to smell a lemonade.
maybe a local business does shit at this time. You know, I could I can see that. What the hell is this? Oh, ow. Oh, uh. A, what? What the hell did it just do to me? Okay, you should be good to refresh now. Okay, I rolled right into that one. Okay, I rolled right into that one. Why did I take damage for that one? That was Pokemon. Pokemon is great. I enjoy this. It's such a good game. I can catch. Look, playing David Ellett. Okie doke. Interesting. Oh, there. Why'd you just call me? Oh, fuck off. Okay. Uh, after, after some cherry bears, you know them? Did some of the trees around here, but I don't have any Pokemon that can reach. Give me a second here. I got an alt F4 of this shit. I just desynced it. Well, I didn't. Cat, excuse me. The catch did. You run some of the trees around here, but I, excuse me. I don't have any Pokemon that can reach them for me. So where are you coming, friend? They're only for Pokeballs. That are bears. Ah, uh, be sure the Pokeball. Whatever. Three cherry berries. You'll get. I hand you another tip. Good. 
Now then, here's that handy tip I was talking about. You can throw a bear in your wild Pokemon just draw whatever. Obtained, uh, number defeated, caught without being spotted. Okay. I didn't even notice them there. What is this? Found a lost satchel. Oh.
Yay! Ah, oh, fuck off. Black out in the field, you may lose some of your items. However, player, players from all over the world can find your lost items and send them to you via internet. This this system is called Lost and Found. Oh, interesting. Find a f f satchel someone else has lost. Be sure to pick it up. The satchel you retrieved will be turned to its owner and you can re uh, receive merit points. It can be exchanged for items at a trading post in Jubilee Village. Nice. I think that's really cool. Eighty merit points, nice. So probably if I just find satchels, I can just bring them back to people. Oh, it's a little shinx. <laughs> Well, there's one wood. Nice. Oh. Uh. I want my first uh, Evo to be Rowlet, though.
keep thinking these purple things are drift loons. Watching this on my TV is surprising the high definition, but it's, la it's lagging a bit again. Oh, I guess it just dropped frames. Should be better, a little bit better though. Wow, they turn around right as soon as I throw that. Nice. All right. I thought Rowlet evolves at level 16. Am I incorrect? I ain't catching that. It's level 17 now? Okie doke. I know some change, and it's really weird. The fuck was that? Is that a star... star after? That's a fucking star after. Oh, no, it's a star avia. Unfortunately, level 32. There's nothing I can do without getting my shit kicked in. Word of advice about trying to catch Alpha Pokemon in this early game? Don't. No, I kind of figured. Because usually my, my method for Pokeballs is Pokeballs up to level 10. Uh, Great Balls up until level 20. And then uh, Ultra Balls up until 30 and beyond.
Stop moving. Nice. I love how you get XP just by throwing balls. I think that's a really neat thing. What the hell is up here? Oh, I thought this was a Sunflora for a second there. Wow. What if I can see the city? Nah, unfortunately not. I know it's a bit of a slower game, but I hope people are enjoying watching this. That's not what I meant to use. I love how they waddle.
get in the damn ball. Oh, the shinks can evolve. Nice. Oh. oh, there we go. Now I can uh, get a Dartrix. Uh, what the f fuck was that noise? All right, let's see the let's see uh, Rowlet's evolution. Do it now. Oh hell yeah! That was really sick. I like that. Give me a second. I gotta, I gotta show. Are they docile? Nope, not docile.
Oh, I'm actually poisoned. Oh, that's actually quite scary. Oh, so this is the, the fucker that was... Sword cap. Nice. It's funny how you can just interact with them. Actually, let's evolve the others. Oh, I should probably evolve the other one. Because I believe I need to evolve them for... This is, are these Bidoofs trying to make a dam? Oh, there's a Bibarel. Shove it up its ass. What did I miss? Was was getting food awesome when I was, went to see about I wasn't lying about evolving being better in color. Yeah. Oh.
Ouch. That sounded cool. Why does this Bibarel know Icy Wind? That's... Run, Bibro! Run, run, Drifflin, run! Ah, shit. Oof. Can I? Oh, yes, again. At least health recovery is a lot faster. I'm thankful for that. Do alpha Pokemon regen? Oh, there's a Psyduck. Our Psyduck's ambiguous. If you miss, oh shit. Oh, it looks pissed. I think all Pokemon regen when you load them back in, or you give them orange berries. Oh, okay.
What's the new move? Aerial Ace. There's just a Baneri sleeping in the water. <laughs> That's actually kind of adorable. Just a dust tox there. A sleeping dust tox. Nice. Oh, I got another Evo. Pip tonight is playing Inscription now, which isn't my type of game, so I'm back full time now. I mean, you, you should still like support me, giving giving him some lurks, you know, if you haven't already. This is a remix of a, one of the songs, but I can't remember which platinum song it's made. It's from. Hmm. 
Nope. I did for more Skyrim. Okay, doke. Are you not leaving a lurk now? Fucking huge ass skull bat. Nope, never mind. Currently my fave team in the game is Dua, Luxio, Staravia, Eevee, Espeon, and Alephion. Probably not a good team battle wise. I mean you got most of the things covered. I think you need either like a fire or a probably a ground type to keep you uh to keep the type effectiveness up. Boy, this is a huge fuck off tree. I'm Leon of the Pearl Clan, the Warden to Cleaver, Lord of the Ward, Lord of the Woods. And you, I've already did you such you come here to meet Cleaver. I'm right, aren't I? Of course I am, and I can see it so clearly. After all, the powerfully awesome Cleaver has become even more awesomely powerful. Perhaps that strange lightning the other day was the Almighty Sinnoh's divine power. Whatever it was, it struck my lord and left him imbued with an awesome might. So I must turn you away even if it pains me. It's too dangerous for you to meet Cleavor right now. I'll do anything. Oh, such earnest desire to meet the mighty Cleavor. I admit I'm struck by your passion. But, well, I'm afraid your passion is not the real issue here. I've been told in no uncertain terms that by Rita that I'm to let no one near Cleavor. I will fight you off myself if you insist. If you wish to avoid battle, withdraw now while you can, or face the wrath of my Gumi. Uh, I'm going to bow out for a quick second. Just to make sure I'm in at least half decent spot. You don't even realize I'm turning you away for your own safety, how sad you are. Go, go, let me see if you can ooze some good, uh, good sense over this foolish troublemaker. Nice. How can this be? 
I may have been defeated, but my point still stands. It's too dangerous to meet Cleaver now. The only welcome you'll get it if you approach him is a flurry of devastating blows. Normally, I'd simply try making him an offering, a nice heaped helping of his two favorite foods. Served up with respect by his local warden. Loyal warden. That's me, of course. He's usually enough to please him and soothe the prickliest of moods. But even I, Cle Cleaver's loyal warden, can't go close enough to give any offerings now. Not with the way Cleaver is ra rampaging and running amok. There's nothing an outsider that like you can do. The ancestors of Cleaver, Weirdeer, and their cohort drew on the almighty Sinnoh's power to protect Pokemon and people alike. So it's sad. Just so you know, resting a camp will fully heal your Pokemon? Yeah, but I'm nowhere near a camp. Unless I'd have to travel all the way back, but I don't want to do that. It's better grace in our clan that any of us still lives in the vast sweet today. Yuri, what are you doing here? As you say, Cleaver's grown even stronger, but I'm afraid the strength poses a problem for us. If he was indeed struck by that lightning, could the bolts have been sent by the false snow that the Diamond Clans bowed to? Cleaver means so much to our clan. I'd hoped we'd bring our, this situation under control ourselves, not throw a, our hands up at some outsider for help. But we must save Cleaver from this frenzy. Every moment it continues, the danger grows. If more people in Pokemon are attacked, it will lead to conflict with, uh, with both the Diamond Clan and the Galaxy team. You, stranger from beyond this guy, tell me, could you Galaxy people f actually fix all this? Could an outsider actually find a way to quell a lord's frenzy? I'll figure something out. Very well. You and I will gather foods to please Cleavor. I hope that we'll be able to get close enough to make him a proper offering. As for you, find a way to quell his frenzy, even if you must search every corner of the vest, uh, Hisui. Mysterious power now enables you to return to base camps at an instant. Oh, that's useful. However, be aware that this feature might be not be usable in some situations. Good to see you, Final, and how's your research in Cleaver going? Something like I expect. Oh, is that so? No, that's quite the tidbit. So a serving of his favorite foods would normally make Cleaver quite agreeable. Is that it? I need to mull this over back at the laboratory. You should come along too, dear boy. Whoa, look at all that progress. Ooh. 8,500. I need more in Bwizzle. Okay, so once the research gets to 10, they're considered done. Okay. Hell yeah. So according to the information you were able to learn from Irida and Leon of the uh, Pearl Clan, uh, the, with the course of normal events, that frenzy cleaver might be calmed by a nice serving of his two favorite foods. I do wonder, is it possible that the aromas or some other components of these foods might combine in a way that could not only calm Cleaver, but draw him back from his frenzy. Well, by your own report, even Cleaver's warden, who know, who looks after Cleaver knows him well, can't approach him in his current state. It would be a fool's gamble to get close enough to offer him food. Give me a moment, if you would, I need some time to ponder this. There ought to be something in my research notes that can help us.
brain blast. Eureka. We'll simply have to throw the food. You've quite, quite the arm for throwing things, haven't you, Final? Might I suggest you take Cleaver's favorite foods and throw them at the Pokemon? Makes sense. We can use our skill in the Pokeball crafting to shape Cleaver's beloved food into balls. Then throw them to achieve the same calming effect, but from afar. Brilliant idea if I do say so myself. As to what they call these enemy projectiles, tea time balls. Puts one in mind of an X for lasting afternoon, tea does not. Wouldn't, why, why wouldn't you simply call them Levant and Balls, Professor? Oh my, with that name, it sounds like I'm being launched at our friend's seat friend. <laughs> in any case, we can rely on the Pearl Clan to gather necessary foodstuffs, correct? They should get back to the Grand Tree Arena and let Pearl Clan know our plan. Best set up from the Heights camp. Oh fuck, I have to travel that again. Oh, I should probably check in with uh, Silene to get the... Investigation for the commander will grant to a halt if you become a spadic ambassador. I'd like to avoid that outcome. I imagine you would, would as well since it would mean losing the food and shelter we provide for you. If you have a progress report, I will judge it with its worthiness. Show me your Pokedex. Open. Close. Exit. You've made progress. It seems you have earned yourself a star. Hell yeah. For this, you have officially attained the rank of second star in the Galaxy Expedition Team. I can now use Feather Balls. Nice. The rewards you earn for your survey reports will be more generous now too. Ooh, more money. Have these as well. There are further recipes you'll need for crafting. Recipe for Feather Ball. And Super Potions. Hell yeah. Continue to dedicate yourself to complete the Pokedex if you hope to rise in high in the ranks. What do you think Cleaver won't extinct stop being evolved into... Um, hmm. Scarcity, maybe hunted to extinction. Maybe that's the last one of its species that we're talking to now. Genetic modification, maybe. Like, a adaptations change, so. Headbands. Oh, my handkerchiefs. Oh, I can have a Rowlet kimono. I think, I think that's actually kind of fitting. I like that. Oh, but for 3200 though. Now oh, we'll see what pants are like. Sorry, sandals, get a sandals. Okay, I do like the the Rowlet outfit. Actually, no, I, I want to I get a green hat. Oh, 
Cleaver's bug rock Pokemon meaning flying is not super effective against it. Yeah. I look half decent, I think. I hate it. Give me green hair. I hate that she takes her money even if you don't change anything. What is this again? Idea for capturing nimble Pokemon or Pokemon that fly high in the air. Interesting. Oh, it's effective. I want to hit something unsuspecting. Oh, that's useful. I just wish the sleeves on this one were a little bit longer. can sell those, okay. Actually, I should probably make uh, all Pokeballs I can before. <laughs> effort level for one of the Pokemon stats. Can be used to raise effort levels up to level three, however. Sure.
I want to raise speed. And let's check the missions and requests. Alright, now pressing X constantly swaps into the other container. I think you need to have the materials in your satchel while crafting at a workbench. Uh, not at a workbench, no, but when you're crafting out in the fields, you do need to have the items on you. Uh, trying to figure out. Hold on, I, know, I remember how to craft now. Don't judge me. Here caught three put distance uh that's no mean feat. I have a job for the perfect high achiever like you and I help need researching. Those pesky Badoof again. I look away for one second and the scoundrels waltz right into the village. Oh, this is awful as complete failure as a member of security for. How can I face Captain C2 like this? There's catch a Badoof everybody they find, but Three Bidoof is a lot. Two more than I can think I can handle on my own, in fact. I have an idea. I've heard these particular pests easily get distracted if other Bidoof are nearby and end up letting their guard down around humans. So if you can bring a Bidoof to draw their attention, I can see the chance to catch a little trouble. Okay, so I need to add a Bidoof to my team. Okay, so I actually have to go and look for the Bidoof. The way they interact is hilarious.
Oh, there's a mission. Damn, can't go into the water. I saw the darnest thing. I was scouting the hotwork for crops that grow in the fields when I saw it. Pokemon called Cherim changed appearance from my very eyes. It was evening, light was getting dim. All of a sudden, Cherim's petals closed up right, closed right up so it looked like nothing but a little flower bud. Oh, I thought I just witnessed the miracle of evolution. The next morning, when I went to go check on that Cherim, I was right back to full bloom. Why would it bloom just to close back up? Is that how evolution works? Or, would, or is the change I saw something different? We finished Cherim's Pokedex, let me have a look. Okay. Oh, I got a rare candy for this. Chomp chomp. Seems they're attracted to the wood piles. Oh, this one's eating a fence. Nice work, that's put all those little troublemakers safely in our custody. Not to give them the old hee-ho. Hold on. It'd be a shame to send those Bidoof back into the wild, no? My construction corps could find a use for them. You want to keep them? But these little not naughty nibblers have caused so much trouble for the construction corps. They're just Pokemon being Pokemon. How they're supposed to know our village is a strict no-chewing zone. Shows good taste on their part when all the... When they come all the way here to now on their woodwork too. If they're gonna stay here, they'll have to help with our work. They've got the gups to keep trying to get to the village, push plus the teeth to gnash through trees and rocks. Just what our core needs. How are the little ones? Meals taste better after a day's work, you know? Doof. second just trying to clear up my phone so it actually speeds up a little bit just what I want to hear I'm not convinced this lot have it in them to do an honest day's work but if Sanqua's watching them I'm sure it'll all work out right so I guess it's up thanks again for your help hell yeah rare candy Oh, my my my, that Galaxy Hall is one fine building even from the outside. Galaxy teams certainly got themselves a grand head headquarters, I'll give them that. I guess it came ahead because I had some news that you thought you may, might be interested in. But you actually see what's going on though, let's head to, what did you end up calling it? The Heights Camp? Spoke to Weirdo about what's going on. I told him how you've been trekking all over the field lands seeking a well to quell Cleavor's frenzy. All of this from someone who's not even a part of our clan or the Pearl clan. Just some wanderer who fell through the rift in this world. And hearing that, well, you can see how he responded. I trust you appreciate it. 
Where do you found you were these? See, which means you'll need a flute like we have. Mind demonstrating for him. Which is very important to listen well. That's the same four notes from Platinum, I think, when you start up the game. They turn himself into an <laughs> intercontinental ballistic missile. They called him <laughs> intercontinental ballistic missile Rick. Funny shit I've ever seen. That's a Celestica flu for that Mai just played. It's a precious tool that can be used to call in weirdo so you can write upon him. It said that the Celestica flutes were gifts from Almighty Sinem himself, and now this one's yours. Yay! It's not that grand a gesture, really. I can't play the flute for the life of me. Let's see if you can play that melody. Where do you open that heart and learn to play the or learned well the sound of your playing? Nice. You received the mind plate from Weird Ear. It gave me a plate. Reason a certain Pokemon, it allows the Pokemon to gain the power of its psychic type. Now that Celestica flute wisely and gallop across the land with a great Weird Ear. You've got a frenzied Pokemon to quell a Grand Tree Arena, haven't you? With Weird Ear, you can gallop across the field lands in no time. Hell yeah. Press the plus button to summon a Pokemon to ride on. Okay. Oh, I can jump. Holy hell, this this is a lot cooler than I thought it would be. I was gonna give tips on how to maneuver with your dude, but we figured out fast. But do know that you can be knocked off of it. Okie doke. I might just wander around this forest for a little bit to look for some of the new Pokemons. It's a combi! Hell yeah.
Oh, so that is very heavy. Okay. Ow. Oh. Oh, that's a scyther. Oh, that... that sucked. Oh, fuck. The subject of Scyther gets what it evolves into in this game? This is... I thought the, um, Cleavor would've just been, like, a single rarity thing, but does it not actually evolve into Caesar? Uh-oh. 
You can press ZLs that are. Oh, okay, thank you. You can see the Pokemon in game, so there should be a way to catch them. It'll give you time to figure it out yourself. Okay, okay. And if you hit the like button, it'll turn blue. <laughs> Say that you galaxy people came up with a method to try to quell Lord Cleaver's frenzy. You'll mash up Cleaver's favorite foods and throw the bowl so you can throw offerings at him? Well, it's quite an unorthodox approach. You galaxy people, your inventiveness just blows me away. Has this not been a thing people have tried? You make offerings to Lord Cleaver from a safe distance. I'll lend you my aid if it means we might be able to provide Cleaver with his offering. Let's begin at once. Hold on, Leon. Don't get ahead of yourself. Whatever your plan is, you'll need to cleave his favorite plum beans. I brought them as promised. That's right. My apologies, Rita. I had forgotten all about you. I admit we haven't been able to solve this ourselves. We have seemed to we seem to have little choice but to turn to the Galaxy Team. But even I still have my doubts whether we should entrust this thing to an outsider. The galaxy people don't share our customs and our values. So prove to me you're worthy to stand in the presence of our noble Pokemon. I'm going to kick your ass, Arita. Does this game have new Pokermans? Yes, it does. It's funny to think these people never actually tried throwing food to their lord of Pokemon. Yeah. I might said I have a Pokemon as close to me as a sister as one of my blood. If you deflate Glaceon at me, I'll entrust you with Cleaver's fate. Will you battle us? Sure. Okay then. It dead. I was watching Pipton because Pokemon kind of boring, in my opinion, but Inscription actually putting me to sleep. Yeah, I know it's not some people's speed, but it also depends on how quickly people uh, pick up the game. See, Moist, I thought I think was a good Inscription player because he actually had like the energy behind it and kind of the initial uh, absent-mindedness, to put it nicely. <laughs> I mean, no, I mean, no insult towards him. I see now Pokeballs are simply tools of your choice. 
not products or dis- disregard. You still understand the Pokemons that you've caught and treat them as partners. You have better putting my trust in you now, I think. Let me see your Pokemon's wounds. You kicked my poor Dartrix's ass. Explain what the explain Team Galaxy's plan. What do you mean to do with these foods? So you have to keep your distance. You'll mash Cleaver's favorite foods together. Ball them up and try to quell his frenzy by throwing them at him? Interesting. So you develop soothing bombs of sorts to calm our lord. Very well. If it helps soothe Cleaver's frenzy, let's make these bombs with the very hearts and souls. Card games, yeah. It's got like four green cells up there, and so there's plenty of space for inscription knowledge. <laughs> A veritable mountain of bombs. This should please Cleaver if anything can. Now then, ready yourself, and I will summon our mighty. Cle- I will summon our mighty Cleaver, Lord of the Wards. As am I. Oh, mighty Cleaver, Lord of the Wards. Though it's not time yet, time of ceremony. We've prepared an offering of your favorite things. Benevolent Lord who works his might between the heavens and earth, we offer our gratitude. We beseech you, reveal yourself to our eyes. Listen well, final, I'll keep your focus on Cleavor. Dodging will be vital. Try to avoid his moves as you're throwing the bombs. Oh, so it's actually a dodging game. That's actually kind of cool that it's different from, like, standard. Mythic Legendary, do you think the next Pokemon Legends will be about? Uh, Lugia. That's what I think. Lugia and the, the trio of, of Legendary Birds. To claim victory against no Pokemon and quell its frenzy, you'll have to throw bombs at it until its frenzy gauge reaches zero. Uh, I should create an opening then. When the battle level scars will stay down for a brief time during that window, bombs will be more effective than usual. Nice. I actually really enjoyed that. Nice.
Nice. Did it just burp at me? What happened? Some kind of a light erupted from Cleaver's body. The Lord Cleaver frenzied. Has Lord Cleaver's frenzy mind finally but truly put at ease now? Does this confirm that the strange lightning was to blame for Cleaver's unnatural power? Maybe. Well, that's what I think after all we've seen. We know strange lightning came out of the space time rift the other night. Those bolts have struck Cleaver and then driven him into a frenzy after all. Well, any kind from the space time rift? Do you wonder which Pokemon these plates are for? I wonder. But if Almighty Sinnoh really does dwell beyond the space time rift with the strange lightning, it was indeed Almighty Sinnoh's power. Then were we even right to try to interfere? I happily went along with this plan to create bombs if I knew what I was as if I knew what I was doing, like some kind of thoughtless fool. Outrageous. Calm yourself, Leon. Remember that the Lord of the Woods has long been a protector, keeping the Pearl Clan safe from dangerous Pokemon that might harm us. What power sent by the true Almighty Sinnoh have driven Cleaver to turn on us, attack people and Pokemon indiscriminately? I doubt it. All it finally accomplished just now, it needed to be done. Yeah, little boy, take a fucking seat. Get fucked on. <laughs> How is Arceus pronounced? With an uh, with an S uh, in place of C. Now they're clearly for Genesect. And Meowth. No, but in, in all reality, I think there's two more potential games that they could do Pokemon Legends for. They could do Pokemon Legends for Lugia and the three, the three legendary birds of, of Kanto. Uh, because... Lugia is meant to be like the harmonizing one between the three. So I think that would be really cool. And Rayquaza, Groundon, and uh, Kyogre. But if you pronounce the C as an S, then it sounds like a sus word. Arceus? Oh, fuck's sake. I'm going to know pronounce it with a heavy C. Pokemon Legend Celebi. That might be an interesting one. E oh, or Jirachi. Pokemon Legends Jirachi would be inter an interesting one because Jirachi only opens its eye every thousand years. I'm glad we could settle this without further strife from the Diamond Clan or the Galaxy team. If you come across other Pokemon in the grip of this painful frenzy, please help them. Yes, I suppose I must concur. I apologize for bre becoming briefly incomposed. I'm grateful for what you've done for my lord. Please take these on behalf of the Pearl Clan. Consider it my apologies for having spoken rudely to you earlier. And a token of my thanks. Citrus Berry is nice. Let me take care of your Pokemon as well and appreciate you for fighting on your behalf. What's the Lake Muse? What do you mean the lake muse? Are you talking about like you see Azelf and and Mesprit? The the lake guardians? I think I've finally come to believe you that you truly did fall out of the sky, though I cannot imagine the reason at, the reasons at play. It seems we settle things here, though you between you and me, I wouldn't mind seeking seeing Lord Cleaver in such a frenzy again. He was fearfully strong after all. It's a Scyther. Oh, fuck.
Your link remains rules to balance Groudon and Kyogre. No, Dialog and Palkia. No. They're the one, they're the seal for... Now I'm not entirely sure how to word it. I can't believe little gods end up in a Pokeball. Yeah. Huh? Wakes up with headache, finds a wife shot him in his sleep. Is that actually a story? According to legend, when the Arceus created the universe, he created Yuxi Mesprit and Azelf. Therefore, it is believed to be their master and were given the ability to calm and control Diego and Palkia whenever they were enraged. Interesting. And the people on the drums are really going hard. Please. Thank you. Oh, I caught one wood. Come on. Are you fucked?
That's a fucking alpha. Oh, fuck. Also, is that an alpha magic carp I just see? Please don't knock me off the edge. Here's though, there's a strange hole here. Oh, I see legendaries. I see Mesprit, Euxine Azelf. And then and it's left. Left is Mesprit, right is Euxi. Second from the right is Mesprit. No, uh, Azelf. I think. Second from the left might be one of the Reggies. Midget Lurker comes to see me posting the speech of Team Rocket. I mean, you do you. <laughs> oh, that might be Palkia there. The other one must... There's RCS in the top left. There's no Dialga here. I'm curious as to the center one, though. I don't recognize the center one. I think that's Regigigas, maybe? It makes sense if there's only one of them. Lord Cleaver, you say, well done, well done and bravo, my boy. Attempt to bed back to the village and report to Commander Commando. Commando. I saw the light fading into the sky. You must have quelled the Lord Pokemon. What do you have here? Could it be? Ah, uh, those two are the fable plates of old. Please let me have a look. I see there are some letters carved into them. This one says, Where all creation was born, that is the being pe being's place of origin. It seems to be a phrase from a very old myth. How did you come across these? I see, so you're given plates when you were impressed weirder in Cleavor. It's quite something indeed. My heart is practically racing with excitement. Maybe he is, or they are Cynthia's uh, ancestor. My guess is that you will find more plates like these scattered across Hisui. If we are to gather them all and decipher the scripts, we may, we may uncover something absolutely amazing. Mysteries of the past. Oh, how fit! How they tickle my curiosity. 
What a joy to be alive at such times. Well, I must be on my way until next time. I think the destroyed one is Giratina. Also, Twitch just crashed on my TV. Oof. Listen to this, I saw something incredible out in the wild, so it was incredible. What was it? A will of the wisp, a ball of bright red fire. I was walking on Winsept's run when the other night it leaped at me like, ooh. Again with the story, huh? Don't listen to her, Mr. My Big Sis always gets carried away with her fairy tales. For goodness sake, I'm not making it up. I saw that will of the wisp with my own two eyes. Wait, well, then why don't you show it to me? <laughs> Good luck with that. Fun fact, the answer to Metaton's essay is legs. I don't think there was a right answer, it just depends on like what you answer. Honestly, I did see one. Say you're with the survey court, right? And I hear quite the prodigy. Bet you could easily catch a will-o'-the-wisp. Do you think they could catch the one I saw and bring it back here? Okay. Crazy woman! Crazy woman! So it needs to be two eights. That one just straight up to two feet tall. I haven't caught any more. What the fuck are Ultra Beast and one will Nintendo slap an Ultra Beast DLC on Gen 8? Uh, I don't think they'll do anything with Gen 8. If they do, I'll be shocked. I'm just glad in this game they're not having to deal with Megas or... or, uh, Gigantamaxing or Z-moves or whatever. Killer Ponyta. You heard a fellow from the village who comes to have seen a rather strange Ponyta. You must investigate the matter of good science. Okay. Two A1s are Alpha Weasel. Oh. Well done. I've already received uh, the reports of your exploits. You successfully quelled Cleaver's frenzy, restoring peace and mind of mind to Hisui's people. You're a stranger to us, one who fell out of the very sky, yet you served the galaxy team admirably. I admit you have earned yourself some degree of recognition, but things are not settled yet. I received word that there are other Pokemon nobles falling prey to such frenzies elsewhere in Hisui. So carry on with your research and survey duties and prove that you are truly an asset to us. That is all you are dismissed. Fellow survey corps members are likely at the Wallflower. Go and join them. Benny, old chum, usual order three. Okay, whatever. And if there's anything else that you'd recommend, by all means, bring it out. The whole village is gossiping up a storm about a young friend here, you know. He's got quite the luck to have come back on a harm facing off against that Cleavor. Dare say Final was well prepared, and it was a quick study of how Cleavor moved in battle from what I heard. 
All in all, it was a very good show. A victory well earned. We can feel safer going about our survey core duties now, thanks to our efforts. By the way, why not try crafting some of these? I made the recipe based on directions Benny gave me. Smoke bombs. Hmm. Lovely, and now, now that we need to not worry about being mauled by Cleavor either, let's take a chance to study all the Pokemon that call Obsidian Field lends their home. Okay, I'm all... Def kind of gave me the shutters. Final. I've been waiting for you, Final. My name is Vesa. There's something real important I need to tell you. Would you come with me? What the hell? This is kind of a secret, but... Something terrible happened. He sees in a whole lot of danger. Hundreds of years ago, a being that brought calamity to this region was sealed away by someone using the power of a strange magic. But now, for some unknown reason, the magic has come undone and the seal is broken. I hate to think what might happen at this rate. So please, final, hear me out. I need you to restore the broken seal. Oh, thank you. I'm so happy you believe me. I just knew that you'd be willing to help. This odd keystone is for you. Keep it safe. Cool. Oh, it's a spirit tome thing. Obsidian stone that can help collect wisps that glow with an eerie purple light. After the seal was broken, a whole bunch of wisps scattered across Hisui. A hundred and seven of them in total. Holy shit. With the odd keystone I gave you, I'll be able to capture them all. See, the wisps are normally invisible, but not to the holder of the keystone. I know it's a huge task, but please, you have to gather all the wisps for me. The one, there's one real close to where we are now. How about you start with that one? See that flame over there? Start touching it. The wisp has just been absorbed into the odd keystone, just as it should have been. Thank goodness I picked you to help me with this. Come talk to me if you ever need help finding the remaining wisps. And one last thing, as you gather more and more wisps, I'll give you some rewards as thanks. I'll wait for you while you carry out your search. Good luck. Spirit Tome has 108 ghosts. How do you know it's 108? Where does it say that before? There's new fishies and new forms of the Canto birds and a Triforce elk and two horses. That's all that's new in the Crown Tundra. Triforce elk? Really running out of ideas when you recycle old legendary trios and just add more to another trio. Yeah. When you catch Arceus, uh, at the end. Exactly 108 spirits. Interesting. Wow, the Galaxy Team hairdresser really is, uh, dare I say, cutting edge. Oh, hey, you're fine with the boy who quelled Cleaver, aren't you? That's me. Maybe this girl looks like Mars. Yeah, she looks like Mars from uh, Platinum. I know you got the, quite the reputation, you know? I mean, you quelled the, one of the mighty Sinnoh's chosen ones. Some people are actually scared of you for doing something so bold. I'm Erezu, by the way. Warden of the Diamond Clan. My special skill is giving haircuts. <laughs> Real nice to meet you. 
Oh, snip, I came here to talk to you, Mr. Kamado. See you around. Oh, a shop. Get to the Genko Guild, sells rare items you won't find anywhere else. Max revive set, yours for the bargain price. Campers who talk to items you won't find at the general store. Interesting. Sure, what's my extra vibe set? All yours then. Three max revives. Won't be, for, won't be long before our next great find. Come again soon, will you? Okay. I need to catch every Papega Papega catch. Pokemon Legends basically the same game. Okay. I'll let you believe that. Hey there, value customer. Wouldn't you rather I had more wares for you to choose from? It'd be nice. That would. Unfortunately, Tao, you have refuses to provide me with any new goods to offer. You won't listen to a word I say. Would you try to persuade him for me? I'm sure you'll get somewhere if you bring him some hearty grains as a token of goodwill. Sure, these stocks how to do it, but I make sure, but I make it three to play it safe. Those clothes you were wearing when you first came to the village, I can't describe to you the shock they gave me, as if I got a glimpse of the future. <laughs> There's no mistaking you're passionate about fashion, aren't you? Definitely. I'll have the duty of making this village more fashionable too. Let's study fashion together. Part of the survey quarry, am I right? Please I ask that you lend me your talents. I've been told that Hippopotas, which can be found in the Crimson Marlins, have different appearances based on their gender. If they like what I were able to see and compare them, it would inspire me to create new designs before my clothing. Please can you show me both a male and a female Hippopotas? Go to the farm, it helps you gain materials on mass. Oh, okay. Just the person I was waiting for. There's a Pokemon I hope you can bring me. I'm trying to make a business of offering the groundbreaking experience of having your photo taken with Pokemon. But no one here seems to understand the appeal. Perhaps they're just too afraid of Pokemon to get over their reluctance. But I happened to accidentally catch a Pokemon in this photo and it gave me a brilliant idea. See how fluffy it is, how adorably soft, how irresistibly, but impossibly cuddly. Most people see a Pokemon like this in a photo, they want to have their portraits taken together with it. But I need to get a better shot of this one. If you find one, could you bring it here? Sure. About that request you had. I think we got the Pokemon you wanted. It's even fluffier and lovelier than I imagined from that photo. This is it. This is exactly it. Let's get a proper shot at once. I was able to get the shot I needed thanks to you and that Pokemon of yours. I should go a very long way to get in the other villagers over their fears and into some photos with Pokemon. So 
So what about that new grab? Mm -hmm. Well, we'll see if the streamer implements it. But it's someone people are very familiar with. At least around my parts. My my channel, I mean. Oh my, you? You know, you remind me of some of my grandmother. She was always so friendly with the Pokemon, just as you seem to be. I feel that same aura from you, as if you could become true friends with the Pokemon. I'd be interested in seeing how friendly you are with the Pokemon you carry with you. I hope you show me some time. Look how pleased it is to be traveling with you. You have a true friend here, I can tell. My grandmother was precisely like you and the type of person who would un understand the minds and hearts of Pokemon. I grew up watching how she interacted with them, so I have a bit of a knack for sensing how compatible person and Pokemon are. If you'd like to keep coming to show me your Pokemon, how have you to inform me of any time how they're feeling about you? Cool, I got a rare candy for that. Oh, hey, Survey Guy. You know you need to be a super awesome member of Team the Galaxy Team? Be wicked smart. Nope. I mean, I guess it's also important, but you need to have a partner Pokemon. With a great partner Pokemon backing you up, you'd be as strong as a hundred people. I want to catch a Pokemon on my own someday, so I've been throwing balls to get my aim spot on. Now I'm ready, I think I'm ready to practice with real Pokeballs. I bet you have loads of them since you're in the Sorvik, Sorvik core and all. Could you please give me just five of your Sure. Here you go, you little shit. I can get your Pokemon partner, partner Pokemon on my own. Here's a reward just for you, some grit dust. It was super hard to collect, so I hope you like it. If you want to know how more about what it does, you can ask Captain CZ if she knows all about it. Bellamy is the friendship tricker of this game, like she, like you said. Yep. If you want a Pokemon that would be a great partner for me, let me know so I can catch it. Uh, uh, Spirit Shackle is special at that attack, I think. If I get Spirit Shackle still. I guess we'll have to see. You're the boy from the Survey Corps, aren't you? Thank goodness you came along. Could I ask you to fetch a plant for me? I need to make it to make some medicine. Plantum effer has three leaves and it tastes bitter enough to make you dizzy. Or should I don't know where it grows, try and asking a niece from the medical course, she'll be able to point you. Hey sport, interested in you in some target practice. All you gotta do is some lobs and balls and try to pop some balloons. Easy peasy, fun and breezy. We got some fun prizes lined up to find out. Ooh. If you're for a challenge, just let me know. I'm usually found in the practice field. Neat. I think off stream, I'm gonna spend some time playing this game, fill up the Pokedex, and uh, finish off some of these requests. Hey, the, you're in the server car, aren't you? Just the fellow I was looking for. I worked to make these here fields bigger, but the ground is sure is hard to plow, so I'm looking for someone to lend me a hand. More field means four more food, which means everyone's happy, including the survey core. We're all in this together, after all. So if you're a ground-type Pokemon, could I have a borrow it? Yeah. Your Pokemon looks... She'll be a big help in expanding the fields. Might as well get started. Wow, it's turning this gritty old soil and soft and fluffy like it's nothing. How's it doing that? Thanks for these high tech spheres that capture a creature a thousand in size. Here's some dust. <laughs> well, it helps me grow my stats a better, at least. Want some fine works? 
Any crops we plant here will do great, and it's all thanks to you too. We'll keep we'll keep your Pokemon here to help out the field to work a lot a little while longer. Just give a haul if you want to swap in a different Pokemon to be our plowing partner. I couldn't care less about Geo, dude. Does Turnip really not have animated me emails yet? Uh, she does. I don't think she's implemented hers yet. I mean, you could ask her. Up to her if she wants to implement it or not. I'm not going to be like, hey, Turnip, people in my chat say you should do this. Like, I think it's a little bit rude if I say that kind of thing, you know? Is it, but do find that log. Turn this nerd in my chat to you to add the dancing modes to do it. Yeah. Like the thing is, I don't want to be a dick to my friends. And if we're ever a dick to each other, it's in a good, it's in a good, uh, good humor, you know. I need to talk with somebody here. He fucking dead. Alright, you know what, I think I'll call it quits here for today. Alrighty. So we we kicked Cleaveboard's ass, thankfully. Give me a second, I just gotta readjust myself. So yeah, I'm gonna spend some time after, like, in between streams just to play this game because I, I really enjoy it but I also know there's a lot of grinding in this game that you guys probably don't want to do it I'm going to be up tonight enjoy your stream alright thanks Rose <laughs> like bullying Naga for being bald baldness is hilarious yeah but there's also a certain extent I've been watching and it's like I feel kind of bad that people have just been roasty toastying him so much like, I know I wouldn't want to be, like, thrilled that much. And I, I know he's always had, like, a stronger spirit compared to me. I just don't want, like... I don't want him to crack under pressure of being called bald too much, you know? So, I this is a request from me. If you guys ever notice that he's being, like, too overwhelmed by that kind of shit, please don't... Please back off, you know what I mean? I think Gubba would watch you grind the the decks. Yeah, I know. Anyways, let's figure out who to raid. We have Pipetron. Unless there's somebody else we want to raid. Anyways, Moobot already did the description, so if, or the Discord. Oh, 
Oh, actually, let me let me check somebody. Is read this variety streamer called? <laughs> For fuck's sake. Yeah, let's let's read. Rate this guy's toast. No, I'm not. There, there are certain people that I don't want to like raid either out of fear of embarrassment or, uh, just I don't like them as streamers. And this guy's toast is one of those like I'd be embarrassed about because I really have no opinions on him. So I'd go and just be like, yeah, my my chat told me to go in and I have no idea about you kind of thing. I'd feel kind of bad because I'd be like, I. Don't know, no, no, care who you are, kind of thing. Do you know that makes sense? Let's just write Pipton. Uh, we need a good raid message. Uh, card game badge. Uh, <laughs> Just po poker humor for anybody who doesn't know. Anyways, I hope everybody takes care, and uh, I'll, I'll see you guys on Discord. I'll, I'll be petering about, but uh, yeah, I hope everybody takes care. Poker like Pokermans? Yes. Anyways, get ready on that. <laughs>